WSP got a text about doing an investigation at a very well-known cafe. What would our team find at this location? Would any spirits be there? Would any of them answer us if they were there? The staff before had told me that they would hear noises and feelings of being watched, while others told of being touched. WSP was there to check out what was going on and see what we could find. Here is our exclusive WSP investigation. We were here, I was here about six or seven years ago. Is the soldier here? Can you come forward and talk to us? Is there anybody in here? Is there anybody up here with us? What did you say your name was? Did you say Walter? I just saw something go that way. In this picture, in the back, you're going to see a little girl that is trying to come through the door. Um, we looked everywhere out there. All the furniture that was out on the porch, nothing compared to this little girl. In this picture, you can see an image of a man and he's smiling and he is right there beside of Gloria. I don't know who this man is or why he's there but he's smiling at something. In this picture you can see a spirit as it is walking. Now I can't tell if it's male or female but it is walking right there at the chair. In this picture you can see another spirit walking and to me it looks like a man's face. It looks like um, he's got a beard and that he's wearing glasses. Now in this picture you can see two men in this picture and the first one looks like a young man and then the second one looks like an older gentleman. Um, the first one looks like maybe a soldier. He is really young. He's got really short hair and the one on the right hand side He's got longer hair and it looks like a mustache and maybe a goatee. In this picture on the right hand side, you can see 
a spirit that is walking and it looks like maybe a female but I cannot be positive on that in this picture on the left hand side you can see a figure of it's a spirit I'm thinking it may be a male but I cannot be positive and in the middle you're gonna see a circled image of a dog and it's standing there looking around um, it's it's sitting down actually and it's looking down looking everywhere and on the right hand side you can see a man in a military uniform but it's like he is in a chair or something and he's got really short hair he's got a uniform on and it looks kind of like a maybe maybe an army or an I'm not sure but he's got glasses on and I, I mean I can see him plain as day in this picture right in the center you will see the circled image of a dog and he is climbing the stairs now he looks to be a fierce black dog and he's not a very friendly dog at all in this picture you can see someone sitting in the floor right below the bookcase in this picture you can see a man and he's sitting there in the chair in this picture you can see a male spirit that is on the left and he's right in front of Gloria in this picture you can see what appears to be a child right there at Debbie's leg but it's dressed in a lot of black and this really doesn't look like a child in this picture at the bottom you will see the circled images of three little girls they don't look to be very old either in this picture you can see Debbie and right beside of Debbie that appears to be that young boy again and he still has that cape or whatever and he has it on his head and he also has it wrapped around him now I'm not exactly sure what this is I'm looking at um, I don't know if it is demon I don't know if it is a dog I, I, I really don't know in this picture on the left hand side you're gonna see the same little girl walking in this picture you can plainly see a woman standing there in this picture on the right hand side you can see a spirit starting to form in this picture you can see a spirit standing right there near the bookcase and by the stained glass windows just watching in this picture you can see a little kid and it's right there next to Doug and it's peeking around and it's touching Doug but it's peeking around to see what else it can see in this picture you can see what appears to be a young girl and she's right there at that table if you look down at the bottom you will see a snake and it is heading right towards that food display and you will also see about four different dogs that are there and this has got me wondering what is going on now in this picture and we're going to start at the middle in the back um, you can see what appears to be a woman coming down the staircase but you can also see a man with dark hair um, he's got on a dark jacket and he's just standing there and then if you come to the front of the picture on the left you're gonna see a young boy and he's got um, he looks like he might be maybe 15 16 and then right beside of him you can see a man now in this picture you'll see Doug sitting there and he's looking at something like on the wall but if you look right in front of him you're gonna see a huge dog and if you look a little bit further to the left you will see another huge black dog but this one is showing his teeth now in this picture at the top of the picture you are going to see what appears to be a man with like a military outfit on a military cap and he's bending over and if you look down in the front they're dressed 
I'm, I'm thinking that may be a little boy and a little girl. In this picture, you can see a woman, and she's coming through the door. She has on um, some kind of a dress, and looks like shorter blonde hair. In this picture, starting on the left, you can see two dogs that are lying there on the floor. And if you look to the right, you'll see where I have the arrows. And that looks like maybe a woman. And then you will see what appears to be a man as they are walking the meter going off in this picture you can see the meter is going off now in this picture you can see me and Gloria standing there in the background and you can also see a man he's an older man and it looks like he has a child on his lap or carrying him in this picture you can see what appears to be two kids in the floor just sitting there. In this picture, you can see a man coming down the staircase. And he's a pretty good sized man. In this picture, you can clearly see a man and a child. In this picture, you can see what appears to be a woman in the bottom of the screen. In this picture, if you look to the right, you can see a spirit emerging. Okay. 
The old Methodist church on South Court Street in Fedville was built in 1905. It was a wood frame building with drop siding on a stone foundation. The church housed a very active and viable congregation until it shut its doors in 1985. The building was then consecrated and used as a storage facility for about 10 years until the cafe was opened in April of 1997. The new owners bought the cafe in 2000. WSP had investigated the same location about six or seven years ago. It was determined then to be haunted. After going through all the evidence files, it has been determined that the cafe is still haunted. There are at least 20 different spirits and demons there. Some are there because they don't know where else to go. Some because it was a church that they went to when they were alive and they feel comfortable there. Others are there to do harm. The demons were brought in by being attached to people. The spirits warn multiple times of danger, of fire, that people are in danger of losing their lives and being hurt. They repeatedly warn us to tell them, do they know something bad is going to happen in the future? They knew exactly who I was from where I had been there previously to investigate. They seemed curious about Doug and Debbie. They did not like Gloria or some reason. Perhaps she reminded them of someone. I keep trying to find out about the little girl Maggie. If anyone knows about her, please feel free to let us know. <laughs> 